the death of my brother. It was uh, sudden, and uh, at the time, we did not realize that he was non-compliant with his medications. We had one of our brothers pass away from a heart attack. So really able to see close up and personal the effects of heart disease, heart attacks, and, and um, what happens perhaps when you don't pay attention to your diagnosis and take your medicine as you should. I think that when you have hypertension, it's important to take your medicine every day as it is prescribed. He ran out of medication, and so he wasn't taking the medication that he knew he should be taking because he was just too busy. The initial prescription I was taking had some negative side effects, so as any very intelligent person, I decided to stop taking it. <laughs> <laughs> they are not willing to continue to take that medication because of that main side effect. <laughs> but there are medications that really help control your high blood pressure that do not have that particular side of it. Don't allow your significant other, your spouse, to stop taking the medication and not go to the doctor to see what he can do to fix that. The students that we utilized for the program were pharmacy students, and so of course medication adherence is a big part of hypertension management. During our training, we did talk to them about what challenges people may face in trying to remember to take their meds every day, encouraging their participants to talk to their physicians if they had any issues or talk to their pharmacist if they had any issues with the medications that they were on. Some even knew that they were hypertensive, had medication that they were on, but because of the program, they've learned how to reduce those numbers and actually have been taken off of some of the medicines.